All right, you guys, welcome back to more MLB The Show 24 with our Washington Nationals. We are ready to get more games here. We're going to be taking a look at the minor league. Double-A is going to have their official start to the season, so we're going to take a look at that. Um, as we mentioned in the last video, we are going to start doing now custom game entry conditions. So we'll see if we get any of that coming here with the Twins. We also have this game versus the San Francisco Giants. So I kind of wanted to get into that as well. As I kind of want to see what Josiah Gray is doing on the mound today and kind of hopefully maybe see if we can kind of maybe get him back on the right foot or not. So I guess we'll take a look and see how that ends up shaking out. But we are 2 and 1 here to start the year. So on to a good start and, you know, sitting in third place right now. A game or a half a game back behind the Braves. The Marlins right now in first place. They're sitting at 3 and 0 on the year. We know that's not going to last too much longer, but. We'll see how things end up going. But let's go ahead and start simming on through here. And we already got a moment here. Thomas has a 12-game hitting streak. That literally makes no sense. He does not have a 12-game hitting streak. The season just started. It can't carry over from spring. And it cannot carry over from last year. I'm going to sim this one. I'm not. Yeah, I'm just not going to deal with that one. We got popped anyway. So not what we wanted to see there, though. But I'm going to put us down to 500 now. The Red Wings. Okay, well, looks like I got to go fix something. I got the roster situated out. Here we go. With home team down by one. Two runners on base. Hunter Harvey is on the mound here versus the Twins. Ian Happ is up to bat. Willie Castro, Matt Walner are on base. We're in a 2 1 ball game. Got one out here. Let's go ahead and hop into this to see if we can find a way to get back above 500. All right, looking at st our stats here that we're going to get. We got five home runs on the end, which is good for eighth tie with the team. And half up to hit. But let's see if we can get out of this jam. Hunter Harvey, at least we got the right guy in this situation this time. Because last time we did. And actually, we got the ball way too high for the game. All right, that should be a little bit better there. All right, Hunter, let's get out of this jam, man. First pitch over, not going to be a good one there. He's going to end up able to hold off on it. And oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Ruiz can't stop the splitter getting through. Come on, Harvey. Just threw that dead in the dirt. All right, well, the tying run is now 90 feet away, and Ian Happ is in a favorable 2 0 count, but that was going to get across to make it a 2 1. Oh, did he go around? Yes, he did. Let's go. Got the favorable call from the ump, and we'll take it. One more out to get from Hunter Harvey. They are saying to intentionally walk Josh Bell. Who would that put up? Put Vasquez up. All right, you know what? We'll listen to it. One to walk him, send him on his way. We'll get the righty versus righty matchup versus Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 3 on the day. We'll pump that fastball in there at 99. And swinging through on the splitter, Hunter Harvey is one pitch away from getting out of this mess. The 0 2. Can we get the strikeout? Not on the slider running away. He's able to hold off on it. Let's see if we can try a 1-2 curve. Down he goes. Able to get out the jam. Remains a 2-1 ball game. Let's go. Good stuff, Hunter. Bouncing back after the wild pitch. Going to finish playing this game out. We got Felix Bautista coming out here. Not a save opportunity for him, but he's going to try and keep this one here at a 2-1 ball game. So, see if we can try and get some get some hits off of him. Keep every ease is up to bat. He does have a home run today. Right, well, let's see if we can do versus the flamethrower Bautista. And what was an interesting trade that they made during the offseason. Said the Twins really weren't sure what they decided to do, man. They got rid of Buxton. Got rid of Duran, but Bautista comes in to fill that role. So, yeah, not, not exactly sure what's going on with the Twins organization. But, you know what? Right, maybe they know what's going on. It's a 1-1-0. We, we chased it. Does not have the best speed. And he's easily thrown out. If you have somebody faster, maybe they get they able to beat that out. Here's Matt Murris, 0 for 3 on the day here. He's batting 294 on the year. Having a good start to the season. 101 just right down the pipe. I mean, my God. He's not throwing anything else but that four-seamer. It might as well, but we get good contact from Murvis there. Into left field, and Murvis just misses the solo shot. Oh, man, would have been a good one, but we'll take the one-out double. And hopefully, we can find a way to bring in... Matt Mervis, his second double of the season here early on, and just misses a big fly. Would have been home run number three on the year. Here's Dylan Cruz. He's 0 for 3. He is batting below that Mendoza line, though. Looks like, oh, boy. Well, there goes the slider. But, yeah, it looks like him and James Wood have begun to struggle. And, oh, we're going to get caught looking. Wow, what a fastball. 
101 painted the black right there. I mean, it's coming in extremely fast. I mean, my goodness, Bautista, like, calm down. James Wood is one for three today. Well, we'll exchange that hit for a hit here if we can get it. Well, he's just, he's, I mean, he's got us just sitting on fastball. I mean, you can't really sit on it, the other off-speed pitches. That was too high. All right, James able to make it a full count here. Birdie House is on deck. I'd like to see him come up to the plate. Patting 333 runners in scoring position is nice. And he will miss. 102 misses inside. James Wood will get aboard for the second time today. Put runners on first and second. Brady House is over 2 on the day. He's batting 267 on the year. Oh, we dropped the PCI that killed us. I don't even think we had bad timing on that one. That one came in at 102, though. And it gets blown by us. Unfortunately, like I said, we had the wrong placement of that PCI. If we would have left it alone, they had a shot. All right, Tanner Scott will get his second action of work here. See if he can shut it down. Top of the lineup do up for the Twins, which, once again, doesn't seem as threatening when there's no Byron Buxton. But we'll see what they have here is Deshaun Kiersey Jr. Comes to the plate. Not the best with that location right there. But, you know, it ends up working out. And Tanner Scott will get a fly out. Dylan Cruz out there patrolling center. And that will be out number one. All right. We just need two more. All right, Tanner. Let's get that strike out. Let's see if we can get him running away. We're going to get it with a slider. One to go. Let's get the save. We'll take the 2-1 victory. Let's shut this thing down. Oh, got a favorable call from the umpire. The umpire said he's ready to go home. The 0-2 looking for back-to-back. Hey, slider nowhere near the zone, and that'll give us the win, our third of the year. And we'll gladly take it, boys. Able to hang on. Good pitching performance. I'm not sure who's actually pitching the starting pitch in this game, but hey, we got the win, man. Let's go. All right, it was K. Cavalli here in this game. Went five innings, four hits, four walks, boy. I don't know why, man. We got getting a lot of walks out of our pitchers. He also has seven strikeouts here in this game. Just really not a good hitting performance for, for me, the ball club. Only six hits on the, for the team. And we got one final game. Corbin Burns will be on the mound versus Pablo Lopez. So ace versus ace. We'll see you know, if this ends up going in our favor or not. And, of course, we're getting put in a situation here. Bases loaded. Tie ball game. Looks like there are two outs here. Lane Thomas up to bat. James Wood is on base there at third base. All right. It looks like they got a relief pitcher in the game. Gonna hop into this situation too. See if we can find a way to get something going. We have nine home runs now in the year. All right. Come on, you guys. Let's get it. Josh Stalmont on the mound. Four seamer curve, slider, and a sinker. And oh man. We're just out in front on that. And Lane puts that one into right center field. It's gonna drop. Lane Thomas is gonna bring home a couple. Big time at bat. Big time being clutch, Lane Thomas. Yes, sir. I like it, Lane. It's going to put runners on the corner now with two outs. That one just, I thought that one was going to go a little bit more than what it did. It looked like it was going to go more towards that wall, but it just ended up dying out there in right field. We'll take it. And all key bear. Ah, man. You popped it right up the chute. Yep. Oh. Couldn't extend the lead even further, but we're going to head to the bottom of the seventh, and I think we'll kind of send this one out. Well, we'll quick man. You know what? We'll quick manage this out. I don't know who's on the mound. Corbin is still out there. Actually got, you know, good stamina. But, yeah, we'll quick manage this. If we need to hop in, we'll hop in. Got a ground out. Yep, just gave up a double. Yeah, maybe we should go ahead. You know what? We'll pull him. Well, he's, his pitch count's already up there anyway, so we'll pull him. All right, we're going to bring in a newly signed man, Lucas Sims. Brought him in during the offseason. Hopefully, he can help get us out of this and not allow the run to come across. And, well, he does exactly that. All right. Got to pop up. Don't allow anything else. Okay, we're hopping in there. Oh, boy, that one was not in a good location, but we're going to get a pop up. Mervis in foul territory will get us out of the seventh. All right, sounds good. And I don't know how you hit a cat. A XP cap hit, but all right then. And oh, Mervis goes down to get a 1-2, but it's foul. Oh, man. Had a, could have really did something with that one if we could have timed that one up properly. And a 1-2 will be sent back up the middle. Second baseman there, Mervis, beats it out for the infield single. Yes, sir. I'm going to show some hustle, Matt. 
And that will bring in Dylan Cruz 0 for 3 on the day. But Dylan, your average is just getting worse and worse. I don't like it, but it's going to improve right there with a base hit up the middle. There you go, Dylan. I'm going to smoke it right back where it came from. All right, James Wood having a nice day so far. Two for three with a pair of doubles. I like it, James. I like it. You know he wants that double play ball if he can get it. Yeah, he may have just got it. Oh, nope, they're moving way too slow. They're not getting James. All right, that'll put runners on the corner now with one out. All right, we got to be definitely weary. Come on, Brady. Let's do some damage. Let's give us a little bit of extra run support. And Brady's got another home run on the year. All right, Brady. Hit a one today. One for three. And Brady's going to lift one into right field, and it's going to play a run. James Wood trying to get the third base there. He will. Runners on the corners again with one out. Brady House bringing in his second run of the day. We'll take the bloop singles, man. We don't care how these young guys get on. It's, like I said, they're the reason we're winning games. We're always going to take it. Let's go. All right, lineup turning back around for C.J. Abrams. Abrams also, boy, he is... Really cold right now. Batting 187. All right, CJ, man. I need you to get things turned around. We might need to start considering some lineup changes here. And a 1-1 one -one will be sent into right field. Back goes the right fielder, and it will be a sacrifice fly for CJ Abrams. And that'll make it a three-run ball game. All right, boys. Offense doing a good job. Moving runners overs and getting them into scoring position to be able to score. We'll take it. Whether it's a bloop single, sacrifice fly, we're extending leads. That's perfect. We're bringing Luis Garcia now, batting 280. Oh, that's no. He's got in. He was literally in before that tag got there. Uh, I Leading off on this game has just been terrible because they never get back. They just never do. All right, back to the quick manage. The guy that was actually supposed to do this ended up giving up a single. And now we're walking, guys. All right, Stefan, need you to get out of this. Double play ball. Good stuff. Let's get one more guy. There you go, Stefan. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Luis Garcia back up to play, and we're going to just keep going with this. They're going to make a pitching change as well. Garcia strikes out. Garrett flies out, and it's another fly out. We'll go ahead and pull Stefan, and we'll have to put in our closer, Tanner Scott, yet again. So, thankfully, we're going to have a rest day coming up, and hopefully Tanner can shut this down with ease. Got a ground out. Ooh, gave up a double. Strike out. Come on, get Julian. There you go. Gave up a hit, but that's okay. You got you got out of the rest of the mess. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. We're going to get another win on the year. That'll put us at 4-2, and two, everybody. Team, man, they're looking good with some of the young prospects. And it's nice to have a bullpen that's just not going to blow the lead immediately. But we were getting that last year. Like, we have a little bit of lead, and then boom, it's gone. Like, no shot. Tanner Scott, though, getting his third win. We take the series 2-1. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And Brady Howes getting his player of the game. But a home run and two RBIs. Yes, sir, Brady. I like it. James Wood, a nice day as well. Two for four. Matt Mervis is also two for four. All right, boys, man. Look, look at you guys, man. Look at these guys. Dylan Cruz right now is probably the main concern. He's batting 192. And he had a pair of strikeouts today. CJ Abrams also is another big concern as well. Batting 187. We're definitely going to have to make some lineup switches and kind of maybe move some things around here. Because Brady House, boy, he's batting 300. He definitely needs more plate appearances. Okay, wow. Look at the look at the start to the year. The Marlins are 5-1 to start off. I got to say, who the heck were the Marlins playing to start off the season? They took care of Cleveland and Cincinnati. They swept Cincinnati. Took the first two of Cleveland. They just lost their first, so. We're coming up with the Cubs. Maybe stepping up in class a little bit. We're also going to run into them for four games there as well here coming up. And honestly, we might hop into one of those games too. Because we'll see. You know, I don't know. Once again, I don't know. You guys let me know how you guys think we should handle like the Sim. Because I'm thinking maybe we try and get through maybe, I don't know, maybe a month the right per episode. Or maybe, you know, a couple of weeks per episode. But, yeah, we'll probably stick somewhere maybe around a couple of weeks or not. But, yeah, that's really... Really nice start, but uh, let's take a look, see how the squad is doing. And we'll take a look here. So, Lane Thomas is leading us 360, batting average, 385 on base, OPS over 1100. Brady House over 1000 OPS. Granted, it's early in the year, but I like it, Brady. Brady's showing some pop, and he's got some good on base percentage right now, too. Like I said, it's early. I get it. He's already drawn three walks, though, so, I mean, he's doing his job, man. He's found a way to get on base, which we saw that at the end of last year, too. Brady right now, boy, showing, showing some good young promise. I had a feeling he might show something, too. I just had a feeling. 
But curious what on earth is going on with Dylan Cruz. I mean, he, it looks like he hasn't walked at all yet this year, and he is not. He's got four strikeouts. He's got to find a way to get on base. He's slugging 500. Like, Dylan, come on, dude. You and CJ, like, y'all got to get it together. Even James Wood is slugging uh, OPS of of 900 and slugging 600. I like it, James. Yes, sir. But Dylan, CJ, uh-uh. Y'all got to get it together, man. At least Dylan Cruz got three doubles. CJ, you don't even have that. I know you got a home run this year, but... And I don't even know. Is it just one? Yeah, he's got, he's got the one, so... I don't know, man. CJ's kind of starting to concern me right now at the moment, but... I guess we'll have to see, you know, how this ends up faring off. I'm trying to see what... Yeah, there you go. Average versus righties, they're both just struggling. They're definitely doing better versus lefty, which is weird because CJ's a lefty anyway, so... I don't know. I'm hoping you guys get it situated, though. But we're going to go ahead and sim a little bit more here. And we're going to hop into this game with Josiah Gray. We're going to play a lot, actually, with him. So, see how we handled the San Francisco Giants. They're 3-4 and four on the year. We'll be taking on Robbie Ray, who looks like he's struggling in his first outing as well. But hopefully Josiah is ready to get on his A game as we get into the home opener. Let's go. All right, we got the City Connect uniforms on here in this game for opening uh, our home opener, so I like it. I didn't play with them at all, uh, play in them at all last year, so nice to see him for the first time. But yeah, Josiah, a 9 ERA, that ain't gonna cut it. A 2.2 whip, too. Josiah, man, what, what were you doing in that first game, man? Come on, man, let's bounce back. We got Estrada leading off. Josiah, you had a very solid year last year. I need to see that being replicated, and if not better. Hurl's first wild card, see, like, come on now, why, why are we talking about the wild card? And strike out the start. There you go, Josiah. Three pitch strikeout on Estrada. That was a very good curveball right there. I like it. A one two pitch from Josiah. Looking for another K. Gonna get it again with the curveball. See you later, Ryan McMahon. All right, Josiah. There you go. Good start. That's the way to bounce back after the rough start in game number one. Grant, it's just the first inning, the first couple of batters. So definitely need to see some more. But we're gonna get a pop up here. CJ Abrams has no problem with it, hopefully. And that should be a nice, quick one, two, three in, and Josiah Gray. And there you go. Let's get more of that. All right, well, our offense came and went here. Willie Adamas up to bat now. He's going to roll this one over. C.J. Abrams again having some action. And he'll fire over to first base. Route number one. And mainly the main concern I got with Josiah is also because he had just a bad spring, too. So that's also kind of why I'm at the concern level, if anybody's wondering. Like, if you guys didn't see the spring training video, he was like a 6 ERA or something like that. It was abysmal. So that's the main reason why I kind of had the concern right now that the first game also went extremely bad too. But like I said, hopefully, you know, we're bouncing back here. Let's see if we can get another strikeout here on the day. Well, will my Flores go down to this curveball? He will! See you later. Another K. Third of the day for Josiah. All right. You got your Strzmiski. I, I, I know I butchered the mess out of that. In the 0-2 count here, that pitch not going to get there. He's not chasing the curve. See if we can get him here with the 1-2 and get out of the second. He'll pop that one by out. And that one's going to be another pop-up. Kiber Ruiz should have it behind, or well, in front of home plate. And that'll end the second. Let's go. See if our offense can give us something. All right, well, it's another 0-2 pitch. This has been our big strikeout pitch so far to start. Not going to get it right there. He may have been waiting on the curveball. He would have fouled that one off. Actually, no, he was very late on it. So, And maybe he just saw it at the last second. But let's see if we can try something else. Nope, not on this 0-2. Just going to get a piece of that one. All right, another 0-2. Let's see if we can try the slider once again. That one back up the middle. And we're going to get my first base hit of the day. Fortunately, Josiah not able to get the glove down there. All right, well, they got a leadoff base runner now. The first base runner potentially of this game. Not sure what our offense did. No, oh man, you, you, you just can't start squeezing us now. Here's JD Davis ripping one into left field. That one's gonna be fair. It's gonna put a man on third potentially. We're slow out there in left field. A double and a run scored for JD Davis and the Giants. Left field, boy, James. That should be James Wood out there in left. Man, just slow getting to the ball. And just making a play on him. Like, what are you doing? You're just waiting for the ball to come down. Go grab it. They got a runner trying to go score. Now Josiah's in a little bit of danger here in the second now. And that'll be going through. And 
Lane Thomas will hurry and get it back in. See, that's how he's supposed to do it, James. But now we are really in trouble. We need a double play ball. Need a strikeout and a double play ball. Right, he's swinging the stuff, but he's finding a way to make contact with everything. Here's another one-two pitch. And yet he's not yet he's seeing these sliders perfectly. Like, how are you not chasing those? But swings at the cutter. Okay. Well, this is pitch number what of this at bat. Number nine coming up. Estrada not trying to go down. And he clearly will not. Okay, well, maybe this is what Josiah is struggling with. Is putting away guys. There you go. Rising fast while he was in swing mode. He just wouldn't swing his sliders. Four strikeout. Let's see if we can get the double plays on now. Got him in an 0-2 hole here. Let's take it. And he's going to get caught looking. See you later. The sinker's going to catch that inside corner. And down goes Ryan McMahon. Strikeout number five on the day already for Josiah. If we can find a way to limit this to just one, boy, that would be good. Once again, struggling to put away another batter. It's pitch number 50 already here. And oh, that was down the... Whew. We're lucky that one's coming back. We are real, real lucky that one's coming back. He's got very good power. And Santander probably just missed a three-run bomb. He's not chasing the high-rising fastball. Another guy. We just cannot put him away. For whatever reason, they just keep finding a way to foul off pitch after pitch. And that slider is hit into right field. We need Lane to find a way to make a play. And it's gone. He does not miss that one. That time, Santander does get it out of the park. And Josiah's struggles continue. Yikes. I don't know where that slider missed. Didn't see exactly where it ended up at, but this is not a good start. We might have a Josiah Gray problem. That ball, it's in the zone, yes, but man, like that was inside on him. Man. He just turned it around. Gonna get a strike out here. Come on, man, get out of this. Thank you. Excuse me, we're in the third inning, my bad. Well, we're down four, so offense, we're really gonna need you guys to pull your weight. Doesn't seem to be getting it so far right now. Gonna get another strike out here. Gotta get him caught looking. Uh, Josiah's found a way to strike out, guys. But unfortunately, we just gave up way too many hits. I mean, he's already got seven strikeouts through four. For that punch out, the 0-2. Can we get an inside heater? Nope, we'll take a pop-up, though. Brady House has it in foul territory for out number two. Here's how long they'll allow Josiah Gray to go. I mean, he's already given up so many hits and runs in this game. Pitch count isn't terribly high, but I mean, I easily imagine he comes out for the fifth, but... Just curious how long this will continue to go. And Jay Bowers lifts one in the center field. Dylan Cruz should have no problems with it. And that will end the fourth. Offense, we're waiting on y'all to do something. And it looks like right now they don't even have a hit. All right, able to get one. Luis Garcia able to get a home run today. So hopefully we're starting to fight back a little bit here. J.D. Davis back up to bat. At the big hit, ended up getting the double, bring home the run, and JD Davis, fine day will continue. Gets past the diving Brady House. And another strikeout on the day for Josiah. Huh, crazy. Have eight strikeouts in five innings of work, and potentially could increase. And just kind of, God, man, that's a really, really reckless inning. That's a fly ball in the right field. Can he get there in time? Yes, sir. Good stuff, Lane. Cutting that one down in the gap. And able to get there in time. We need one more out here in the fifth. Come on, Josiah. And man, back up to bat. He struck out in the last one on three pitches. Will he go down again? Well, he's going to go down, just not on strikes. Pretty House flips over to second. And in the top of the fifth. Let's see if we come out for one more inning of work. We need our offense to get busy, though. All right, Josiah. Great out on the mound again. We had a home run from Key Bear Ruiz. We take it. We're cutting the lead down in half. Hey, if we slowly get there, hopefully that just eventually gets us the lead here. If we can get a couple more runs here these next couple of innings. Josiah out here for a sixth inning of work. Curious how long it'll go. Just cannot allow anything. But we're going to start with a strikeout on Santander who hit the big bomb. We just didn't give up that damn home run, man. Be in a very solid. We'll be in an okay spot. We'll be in the lead. Gonna get a grounder here. C.J. Abrams over there to make the play. He's got to hurry to make the throw. Got him in time. I man, that was a jump throw. I know we kind of cut over a little too quickly there. But Willie Adamas almost beat it out. But a great play by Abrams. And here's the 0-1. Josiah Graves. Curveball not able to find the zone there. All right. 
feel like we gotta squeeze a little bit there with a like the call. He's definitely giving us been he's been on in our favor most of this day. Here's a one two though. Can we put away Adamas and get another strikeout? We will see you later. That made that nine of ten on the day. Gave up a few hits though, boy. That third inning was just bad. Hopefully we can get things going. Dylan Cruz will lead us off in that next inning. And that will do it. Jackson Rutledge is into the game. Josiah Gray's day is done. Right now he is leaving with the potential of a loss. Return to simulation, and we're going to get the win. Wait, no. Shot, wait a minute. It said 6-5 us, did it not? I promise that said 6 5 Oh, it's saying Fred. They need to get that fixed. That's a pretty house name putting us up 6-5. Oh, well, maybe I was looking at it wrong. I must have saw, it must have been 6-4 and then, but okay. Ended up going to extra innings, so he does not end up getting the loss. Jackson Rutledge does. Jackson Rutledge finished the game out. Well, no wonder we probably lost. Rutledge shouldn't have been out there that whole damn time. What were y'all thinking? They don't allow us to take over at all, so. Let's see how this ended up going. One for five day for Garcia. Two for five for Birdie House. He's batting 320. He also had an RBI along with Garcia, who went deep. Stone Garrett 0 for five. Lane Thomas 0 for two and a couple of walks. Murris 0 for four. He bad Ruiz, one for two. He had a home run as well. He had a couple of walks as well in this one. James Wood went 0 for three. Abrams, one for two, on, oh, one for four on the day. Dylan Cruz, another 0 for three day. Yeah, man. If Dylan keeps this up, like, the rest of the month, I don't know how long, you know, we should keep him up here, but he might be seeing his, butt, his ass back down in AAA. Josiah Gray, 10 strikeouts on the day. Gave up five hits, no walks, four runs. Got the ERA down, I guess. <laughs> I mean, but it's not a nine anymore, but it's still abysmally high. All right, so our first round pick, Edgar Franco, will be making his double-A debut here. Now, I know this one kind of got a little more centered on the majors here, but we're still going to hop down there. We're going to take a look and see what Edgar is doing, but let's see what our first round pick is doing in double-A in this first start. Let's get to it. All right, here is Edgar Franco. Let's see what he can do here. In his first pitch, so he will be starting off with a fastball versus Martinez. And that pitch is going to find the zone in the bottom corner. We'll take it. Number 22 ranked Philadelphia prospect. Okay, then. Well, I ain't, yeah, I mean, they only have top 20, unless they're saying he's 22nd overall. So Franco, okay, over there. Get the change up through. Looking for the first career strikeout here in double A. And he's not going to get it here, but he will get a nice ground out to the first baseman. That's first baseman Clint Mosley there. Another draft pick of us. And you guys let me know if you guys like the player lock stuff or not. If you guys prefer us not doing this as much, let me know. If you guys do want to see more of it, let me know down in the comment section. But kind of like incorporating it maybe a little bit. As you know, we get a kind of a decent look at things here. And we just kind of focus more on, you know, the main guy. But here's Franco. He's there. Uh, got his man in a 1-1 count here. Trying to find a way to see if we can get that first strikeout here at some point. But it looks like we're going to give up our first base hit before we get the strikeout. And that is a one-out single here. All right. Falling behind in the count here and trying to find a way to get... Oh, boy. Way out in front on that. Sheesh. <laughs> but yeah, trying to find a way to see if we can get a double play ball if we can. And well, we're going to another fly ball out there into left field. The left fielder this time able to get it. I'm gladly taking two outs. Come on, Franco, one more. In the call from the umpire. And that is the ranks of their Philly prospects. So, I said, didn't he know it goes to 22? The thing they give us is top 22. So, we don't even get the full thing. But I guess they got it. And that'll put Mendez in a 1 2 count here. Franco looking for the strikeout. If we can get it, can we get number one? Good slider. Good slider running away. Come on, Franco, man. You got to find that put-away pitch. We got to figure out what your put-away pitch is going to be. Fastball runs high. Run on first will be on the move. And he's going to get a grounder. Second baseman has it. And we'll get out of this inning. We do give up a single. Pitch quite a bit of pitches, but, you know, we're still trying to learn to pitch with him. And hopefully we can find out what his strikeout pitch might end up being. 0-2 pitch here. Can we get the strikeout? Ooh, boy, bounce that one up. To the plate there. Not a good pitch right there. Got to be a little bit more competitive if we want him to chase. Here's a one-two. Oh, off. That's the pitch. Give me the damn call. 
Instead, it's a 2-2 two -two fastball. Well, he's going to strike out on that one. See you later. And that's the first double-A strikeout of Franco's career. Yes, sir. They don't even put the graphic up. Come on now. Don't even put the graphics up no more. Yeah, oh, boy. He's way out in front of that changeup. Sheesh. I don't know what he was looking for, but honestly, let's just go right back to the changeup. Catcher calling for a fastball. Heck no. If he's that far in front on a changeup, he's going to lay off that one, though. That was a very good location for it. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get in the chase. The slider, he's going to go down and get that one. Center fielder, I need you to make a play on that, dude. Attempt it. We're in double A. Attempt to try and make a play out there. And we're going to get a grounder. Five, four. Three, we're able to get out of here and turn the double play after giving up the base hit. There you go, Franco. And an 0-2 pitch, running away. There goes the strikeout. That time, the slider finally able to get somebody. And we're going to get the strikeout there for number two on the day. Here's another 0-2 pitch to TJ Walton. He's going to pop this one up. Foul territory. Will it remain in play? Looks like it will. First baseman Mosley has it for out number two. Can we go after the two seamer? He will get to that one. Slicing away, but our right fielder able to run it down to end the third. And three scoreless innings right now to start for Franco. This is still a 0 0 ball game. Our offense, well, when we ended the third, only had one hit. So he's not getting really much help. Jacob Gonzalez, you are a 2017 draft pick. Man, it's the year 2025 and you're still in double A. Ooh, that's brutal, man. I guess it just not had. This really hasn't worked out for you, I guess. But he's going to foul that one off on an 0-2 pitch. See if we can put him away. He does have the one of their two hits today. But being down there, he's definitely seen it all. Here's the 1-2. He's not chasing the change. And another 2-2 pitch. Wrong up by the umpire. Like I said, this umpire zone has been bad. It's all over the place. But we'll take another strikeout for Franco. Right, looking for back-to-back -back strikeouts. Can we get it here? Got him. Slider running away. Gave it to him again. Can't keep up with that one. Another one for Franco today. And that one will be lifted into left center field. Left fielder should be able to get to it in time. And that will end the fourth. Another one, two, any, one, two, three inning for Franco. There you go. Offense. Can we get a little bit of run support? Five hole hitter will come back up to the plate here. He's going to ground this one to the shortstop. Should be able to have time. Mosley's got it. Foul number one. We'll take a one pitch out. Ooh, way out in front. He was way out in front on the last changeup we threw. I don't think he knows how to sit patient for that one. But he, he did end up getting a base hit, and this time he's going to find a way to hit that one in, in play. That's two-seamer was so out of the zone. How the hell did he put that in play? Look where that pitch ended up at. My goodness, man. That's his second hit of the day. That third. Yeah, that's a lot of call. Way too much of his own. That would get obliterated by the power, guys. Croon is seeming to not care about what we're throwing at him. And he's going to get caught looking. He did not want anything to do with any of those pitches. And down he goes on three. And that will be a fly ball. Second baseman trying to find a way. But oh my goodness, we had 80,000 people trying to go make that play. And not able to come down with it is either one of the three. And that's going to put runners in scoring position. And the Fighting Phillies are threatening to score the first run of the ball game. TJ Walton will come up to bat. And take a change up to find the zone as well. Looking to see if we can get out of this with nothing given up. And he's going down at the change up in the dirt. That'll end the fifth. TJ Walton can't handle Fred, or Edgar. Excuse me. Let's combine his last name and first name together. <laughs> there you go, Franco. Yes, sir. I would have battled out of that. Teammates not giving you help. Is it a 3-1? Let's see if we can get him out in front on the changeup and pull the string on him. Yes, sir. There you go. All right. Trying to put him away for the third time today. He's going to get a grounder. Mosley has it at first. And that would be our number one to start. All right. Able to bounce back from a 3-0 count. And looking for the strikeout. Can we pull the string on him? The 0-2. He's not chasing at the changeup. Really wasn't a competitor changeup pitch. Didn't really even start in the zone at all. I think that one to be a little bit higher if we wanted to chase. But a 1-2 slider. Oh, my gosh. How do we not get him to get rung up on that, man? Sheesh. A 2-2. Two -two. Not getting the call there either. All right. Well, that one definitely looked like it caught more of the plate. 
than the slider did, but we're not able to get him to chase. Those are way too close for him to not be, though. Oh, look at Clint Mosley making the dive and stop to get the ground out. Okay, Mosley making some plays down there. First base, I like it. Oh, one is absolutely crushed. That four-seamer is gone. And they will take the lead with that solo shot. Franco gives up the bomb. Wow. Like to see where that fastball ended up missing. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it, I think he just turned on it, though. It looked like it was going where we wanted it to go, but yeah, we're not going to get the angle here. But that one absolutely tore. Just dropped the bat the moment he hit the ball. Like, sweet Jesus. We're going to come out. Yeah, just, yeah that called way too much of the play. We were looking for this top corner, and we did not get that at all. Well, we'll try and go right back to it, and this one's going to end up slicing and stay fair. So back-to-back -back extra base hits given up now for Franco. I imagine that's probably going to end up doing it for him today. Five and two-thirds. <sighs> and nope, they're going to keep him out here. All right, then. And now he's walking like this. This jackass, bro. That schwecky dude, he literally was swinging at every damn thing except the ones that were, like, right on the cusp. But that would do it for Franco's day. He's got a man on first and second. He's responsible right now for this loss. Although, to be honest, his offense has not shown him any support. And honestly, it wasn't a bad debut at all. Struck out a few guys, but it's starting to get a little bit out of hand here that third time through the lineup. We knew it would kind of be a little difficult. And this is how that was going to end. We were going to lose this one 4-1. to and Edgar will get the loss. With five innings and two-thirds of work, gave up six hits, six strikeouts, and a walk, which honestly, kind of BS. Clint Mosley ended up going two for five today. All right, with a nice double. You'd love to see that. But, yeah, I think that'll be where we end it, though, for the double-A of work. Let's see, actually let's take a quick look. we got Basalo down here as well. He ended up going two for three today. So, hey, somebody, we got a couple guys, you know, we got our eyes on. At least tried to do something in this game. Unfortunately, we just had a lot of guys do absolutely nothing. Here's what it is, man. Just didn't get enough offensive support, and then bullpen couldn't really keep it a close game anymore either. So, But when the offense is only scoring one run, you can't really blame your pitching staff. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and sim throughout this uh, this giant series. And it looks like we're going to lose 2-6. So we've fallen a couple of games, falling back down to 500 now. We're 4-4. Four and, four. and we're getting our first look at scouting this year. And that's the kind of reason why I want to keep going. Let's see if we can. Hopefully, things end up working this time. And we're not getting locked out of our third scout. I don't understand what the reason behind that one was about. But we were. We were just straight up locked out of our third scout. Got Hubert Robbins. He's really solid at scouting out positional players. So, yes, well, no. Let's take a look at prospects, see how things are going here. Third baseman right now is the number one ranked guy. We've got a closing pitcher. Yeah, we're not worried about the closers. We got pick number six this year. So, he is, once again, be focused more on uh, position players. So, see if we know what he can do. Uh, we got catcher. That could be a position of need potentially here. They're saying positional needs for us are just the entire pitching staff, but. I think, you know, <laughs> we kind of got, we could probably use upgrades almost any and everywhere at some point, but, you know, we'll see how this stuff ends up working out for us. But Darren Correa, uh, solid fielder, looks like. Like projection-wise, to be above average, potentially, if we get him fully scouted out. And maybe not bad for uh, Joaquin Lugo here as well. And honestly, these catcher prospects might not be too bad if they end up on the, the good side of their potential stuff. Yeah, Biggs, hey, I'm, not, I'm not big on this stuff. Yeah, his his looks like it's just okay. And Johnny Hayden, boy, he looks like he's going to be a solid just hitter, which honestly isn't bad at all. Pennsylvania, okay. Got another one, Kobe Ramirez, Iowa. Looks like just another just straight-up solid hitter. He's not going to have much, though, it looks like in potential, unfortunately. Looks like a lot of these guys kind of starting to get to that point. All right, catchers, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. We, know, we might take a look at that international region there. It seems like those are kind of more of the top guys. Uh, I know we drafted a first baseman right now. Matt Murphy's is doing his job. But, you know, we might also could need another upgrade there at first base because the guy we drafted may not be, you know, the, the guy necessarily. He didn't really have the most potential. He's kind of like a guy that's going to start off well overall, but he's not going to grow much. Uh, Sammy Visperas, he looks like he might be pretty damn solid just all across the board. I mean, my goodness. Even decent speed coming out of him. That wouldn't be bad to take a look at with the first baseman's there. Rick Chipper seems a little bit okay. 
Johnny Tate seems more of a contact guy than anything. Kind of like to see a guy with some power. And there we go. Patrick Goodwin, Pennsylvania. We're seeing, I've seen Pennsylvania pop up a few times. We might take a look at the East Coast for some stuff as well. Yeah, first base kind of seems to be a limited. It seems to be more top heavy, but there's a few guys here that you know could be interested in prospects as well. If we take a look at second base. You know, the number one looks like potentially the number one guy may have came was it may have been a second baseman there. So you know, interested to see. You know, maybe they got a good class again. Uh, we take a look at the first guy though, Chauncey Messias, New Yorker. Looks to be okay. Looks like he's more in the speed and like stealing department there. Orlando Fernandez, okay, also looks like more of a fielder, but could be a very good contact guy at some point. Frank Gillespie, boy, his, that entire right side looks extremely solid. It looks like it could be a very good batter versus lefties as well. That, yeah, that's Iowa right there. So second baseman, okay, we're seeing some maybe central region, maybe the, and maybe potentially the east coast as well. Let's see, you know, maybe this is a region. Ooh, Doug Lauer, Netherlands. Another guy up here that looks pretty damn promising. Maybe not the power-wise, but everything else seems to be pretty good there. All right, well, have to keep an eye on some guys. Oh, Woody Reyes, 72 to 86 potential. So it sounds like he's going to just be solid off the jump. Oh, not sure if he had much growth or not to him, but it looks like more speed, you know, defensive abilities. Aren't sure the accuracy, not really the best there, but... That could be also why he's taking the hit, but also because his bat doesn't look like he's going to have much growth to it as well. All right, second baseman, definitely something there. Um, I don't think we'll worry about third base, but that is where the number one prospect at the moment is at, Sergio Chavez. And just looking at it, it looks like, you know, he could just be a very, very good hitter. And he's a switch hitter at that, too. So, uh, I mean, it's not like third baseman can't, you know, potentially play around the diamond either. So, ooh, Mackenzie Ellis, 23-0, 5-9. Boy, he just looks like a hitter. Decent speed potentially as well, too. New York, boy, the East Coast seems like they might have some things doing pretty damn well. Will Montes, a left-handed batter, 21, another third base. Looks like a big power hitter. Claude Duarte, maybe? Looks like, you know, very solid contact hitter potentially. Looks like he had good discipline and vision there. Maybe, a, you know, about an average fielder. But, boy, the contact looks pretty solid. I mean, you kind of need all these type of guys around here. You don't need, just need strictly, you know, power only. Nicholas Lorenz, okay. Eh, maybe not, you know, the best right out of that one. Uh, Blaine Thorne, that doesn't look like as much out of that. Honestly, it's kind of surprising that his, his potential is that low. But maybe he's a higher overall. He just won't grow that much. And then this guy has the potential for being 99. That stat, those stats didn't look like much at all coming through out of there. Carlos Castro, yeah. All right, let's move on to short stops here. We got Jason Hurst up first. Once again, looks like another solid contact guy, potentially. Right now, he's ranked 16th overall. Uh, Jordy Kinney. Isn't that entire right side for, like, the fielding speed? Well, that's... Looks like he's got a potential good future. The bat might be a little underwhelming there, so... Who knows how that will end up shaking out in Dave Weston. Eh. Tommy Nolan, Australia. That looks pretty damn solid. 5'8", switch hitter. I'm sure that looks like a solid fielder there. That could be a guy to keep an eye on. Yeah, most of these guys seem to be pretty, just kind of, you know, potentially could get there, you know, maybe. Uh, Brendan Phelps, Tennessee, right-handed batter, 5'8", 18-year-old, so he's on the younger side. And that's kind of probably where you want to stick. It's kind of maybe more the younger guys, but, you know, you just never know how things are going to shape up. Now, we got Carlos Mija. He looks in really damn solid, you know. But once again, we don't have anything scattered on these guys. So, you know, we'll take a look, you know, see how all this ends up looking out. But, ooh, Joaquin Cortez, Mississippi. 80 to 99 potential. I'm, that's what caught me. That's what made me say, ooh, but I'm not really seeing where it's supposed to be at besides maybe speed and stealing. Like, that That doesn't really show much. I mean, it's be okay at a contact hitter, maybe average, but let's have some outfielders out here as well. We'll take a quick look at them. Greg Crawford definitely looks like he could be one of these speed guys. 18-year-old, though. Solid contact potentially could get to very solid power as well. Right now, I mean, outfield is kind of locked, but these guys wouldn't necessarily be, you know, making the jump right away. Mario Delgado, okay, not too bad there. Um, right now, I think, honestly, I think we're going to be taking a look at maybe the catchers and second baseman's off jump. Eddie Wright looks pretty decent. Okay, Jerome Farr, Florida switch hitter, 6'3", 18-year-old. That might not be too bad either. His potential looks like it's just sitting at an 88, but 
at, at best. But, you know, honestly, it didn't look terrible. I mean, they, you could definitely work with that. If he happens to get there, Andy Phillips, boy, whoo, that is a burner. Already at an 80 speed. So he could potentially be somebody that, you know, by the way, got to get on, end up stealing bases. I don't know. I feel like this potential stuff, boy, they really lean a lot into that, maybe that speed area. And maybe that's why their potential is so well. Richard Guzman, though, he looks, you know, could be very solid there. Could be a solid batter and just a guy that gets on. But, like, this guy, he's the number one guy. He's got 97 potential at max. Honestly, it doesn't look anything, like, crazy good. I mean, the contact right could be very good. But, I don't know. That didn't really look like that was going to be better than Ian Lancaster there. But, well, excuse me, not Lancaster. Richard Guzman. Got Lancaster here, though. Yeah, it's another guy we know with speed. But the other numbers don't look like anything crazy. Whitfield, a lefty batter. He's 21. Rob Aldridge. So, I mean, some of these guys, I don't know. I don't really know where that potential comes from. But, ooh, look at Rodney Bartlett. His entire fielding and speed is just, like, almost perfect. <laughs> and he's already got some of that stuff, too. Like he's almost, he's, like, he's already there. He's 23, though, so I guess that's why we kind of know. Hmm. Alexis Tejera, Dominican Republic. His numbers look pretty solid right there, too, especially with the power, which, like I said, we can use some more power on this team. Don't really have a lot of it. Got a couple guys there, but even then, some of the guys kind of getting up there in age. All right, well, last but not least for the position players we have, we have some right fielders to look at. Uh, Wesley Rogers, not too shabby there. Dave Ortiz, Cuba, okay, not, not I'm crazy. Edgar Dominguez, he's from Pennsylvania, actually. He's not even an international guy. Had a feeling that's what that he was going to end up being. Odell Ruiz, speed and stealing, another thing that's pretty high. Look at that. That's where his potential is actually at, too. It's 75 to 99 potential, and it's the exact same thing as his speed. The same thing going for Deion Gibbons as well. Yeah, I feel like a lot of this has to, for whatever reason, has to do with the speed stuff. I don't know why. Like, why is that, like, the main thing you guys are harped on? For a lot of these guys, I'm constantly seeing that it's the fielding and speed stuff. Their hitting stats aren't that good, which honestly is more important to me than the speed stuff. It's, if you got, if you're a burner, hey, you're a burner. But this stuff is nothing like to write home about for most of these guys. Actually, we don't want to make that priority. We'll probably make that priority too. Um, let's take a look though at uh, the pitchers as well before we get a move on, because we still need to boost up the pitching. And the way Josiah Gray's going. I said, I'm a little concerned about that, so we definitely could be needing some more uh, <laughs> in this. And you can never have too many pictures. Ooh, Aaron Fernandez. That looks nice. Damn, Mullen, another. The, the East region seems to be pretty strong this year. East and Central. I haven't seen a lot of West, but International, East, Central, I think those could be the main focus for a lot of things. Arthur Jackson looks solid as well. Yeah, we, 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 this could be a pretty solid class. We're getting, figuring out some things here. But let's see where we want to go. Um, Mississippi, Puerto Rico. I think, because I feel like uh, this could be a central start. Well, I don't know. Yeah, they're kind of all over the place, man. There goes some Germany. Yeah, boy, these, these guys are a little, <laughs> a little bit everywhere here, though, in the pitching thing. This is where most of the prospects are going to be at. But I think at some point we'll go through everybody. David Bush, okay. That's pretty solid. Pitch velocity is not that good, though. Tom Kenny, Miguel Alonzo. There goes a California guy. He's. But this this pitching stat, this pitching depth might be pretty deep in this class. They might be pretty strong, Tom Park. All right, you know what? We'll start off with the international region. We'll go ahead and put Walter on that. All right, actually, Liz is our better scout, so we'll put her. Then we're going to go after catchers. I feel like international was in a bad spot for that. And then I think we're going to go second base. All right, hopefully we get some good stuff there. Allow these scouts to do their job and, yeah. I didn't just do some good things there. We're going to go ahead and send through this final game. Hopefully, we're not getting swept there. And, well, we're going to get swept. Got a trade off from the Tigers here to end this out. They want James Wood for Matt Manning, a 27 year old pitcher. Been in the league for three years. He's coming off of, he's off to an okay start. Or he's out, excuse me, not okay. Started off last year okay, 4.0 ERA, but it's off to a good start this year. Giving a one one home run, three walks, nine nine strikeouts on the end, 13 innings of work. Giving a 10 hits, quite a bit, I feel like. His whip is a one, so 
That's not a deal we're looking to do, though. I'm not looking to get rid of James Wood. He's just now up here, and I'm not giving him up for a B pitching prospect. Now, if y'all were talking about Casey Mize, that'd be another story, but <laughs> I don't think they're going to end up giving up him either. So, you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and decline that. We still got a lot of untapped potential we want to see out of James Wood. His overall is going down for some reason, but... Batting 250 on the year, 333 on base percentage, and a slugging of 458. So that's come down from the 900 he was on. But for right now, he's off to a solid start. So just a one home run and three RBIs. So we declined that one. Uh, we got a game coming up here with, well, we got a series game, not a game, with the with the Miami Marlins. And then we follow up, we got a couple of divisional matchups. Miami is 8 and 1 to start. My gosh, they are hot. We're falling down into the fourth spot. We're actually tied for fourth with the Mets now, so. Not sure what on earth got Miami off to such a great start. I'm pretty sure they were supposed to go up in class a little bit when they played the Cubs, but I guess they handled the Cubs pretty easily. So we got a four-game stretch coming up with them, and that is where we will pick up next time and see if we can maybe cool off these guys, man. Sheesh, we need some, need some good pitching out of our guys, especially Josiah Gray. He's got to get together, but. Everybody else on the staff seems to be doing just kind of a little okay. Failed these last couple games. Mackenzie Gore got the loss in that one. Jake Irvin lost that one. So, yeah. Uh, actually, before we get out of here, let's just take a quick look and see how our our guys are doing stat-wise. Uh, Kibar Ruiz off to a real, real slow start. Had a hot spring, man, and now he is just he's struggling. He is struggling big time. That 167, he might need a break or two. Um... Ooh, Clint Mosley off to a hot start down in double A. Good to see. Uh, Matt Mervis doing really, really well. Batting 323 and a couple of home runs. Juan Gapez has had a couple of bats. He's already home run as well. Luis Garcia batting 225. So his average is coming down a bit with a couple of home runs. Brady House batting 310. Yes, sir, Brady. I like it. Let us see it. CJ Abrams. Okay, there you go. We moved CJ down in the lineup a little bit. Maybe that'll help, you know. Him get things back in order. Batting 259 now. All right, James Wood batting 250. We just saw his numbers. Dylan Cruz, boy, I can't move you down any further in the lineup. Like, you're literally batting like eight <laughs> or nine uh, at this point. I mean, Thomas off to a great start. Stone Garrett, not so much. Ellis Call also getting a little bit of decent average in there as well. So, yeah, that's where we're going to leave off here, everybody. We're a few games into the season. I think next time I will kind of go through and make sure we get through April play through the next game and whatnot and then we'll probably be finished up somewhere maybe in the middle of may i guess we'll see but yeah that's where we're gonna bring this to a close everybody hope you guys enjoyed the video if y'all did man make sure you guys hit that like button leave a comment down below if you guys like this kind of format of the video and how it went you know with the hopping into the games a little bit there you know hit some play a lot and whatnot so if y'all want to see more of that just let me know in the comment section but if you guys are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to stay up to date if you guys aren't new and you just haven't hit the subscribe button just go ahead and hit it for me i'm trying to hit that road to a thousand as quick as possible man but that is where we'll bring it to a close hope you all enjoy it once again enjoy the rest of your wednesday i'll catch you guys back here on friday and if you guys are checking out the live streams i'll catch you guys tonight i'll catch you guys in the next one god bless and peace close it out future